Number seven in our countdown is North Bondi amenities. The way it has been designed um, with thought to be long lasting, easily accessible, the safety, the outside facade, I think it's an amazing coming together of the architecture in a public space. This project is one of the most visited sites in Australia, but it's not what you might expect. So Sam, tell me why we're here talking about a toilet block. Yeah, I guess Bondi is Australia's most visited tourist destination. I believe two and a half million people visit every year. Um, and so this little building serves a lot of people. I really like what you've done with the roof. Is it about the sand blowing up from the beach, about sort of capturing a little bit of the, the yeah, dune idea? I suppose it's the dune, but it's also the headlands. So the idea of the, the rocky headlands and the way that little plants end up growing in the cracks and crevices of the headlands. Mm. And it's as though the roof is just self-seeded with the sand blowing onto it. Yeah, it feels like that. It's yeah. quite lovely. It obviously has to be an extremely robust building to cope with this weather and this wind. What's it all made from? The external skin of the building is wrapped in timber. We were um, having a meeting with council one day at one of their depots and part of the building was being demolished and there was all these beautiful timbers that were potentially going to the tip and we were able to secure those timbers and, and recycle them for this building. Privacy is obviously critical in a building like this. It's a public change room and toilets. What you might often have is a, a kind of a gap between the walls and the roof to allow ventilation. So the concrete block wall that sits behind the timber skin has little slots in it that allow ventilation through. What I noticed was that they're also very carefully oriented so you get ventilation, a lot of ventilation, yeah. but absolutely no visibility. I really like the way that you've put the basins on the outside of the building. Yeah. Is there a reason well, behind it? Bondi is very much a place where life is lived in public. Um, you've got Muscle Beach just down here, people coming up from the beach, having a shower in public. People love to be on show. Yeah. And so putting the mirrors in addition to the basins means that there's a bit of preening goes on and means that there's more people just around the building, which increases public safety. It also means that if you just need to wash your hands because you've had an ice cream, you can come you and wash your hands. I'm always delighted when I see local government invest in design in their even tiny infrastructure. The beach sees millions of visitors each year as opposed to say in the 1930s where it, you know, the population increase is just astronomical. Oh, I can imagine. So we're having to cater for that increase. Mm. What sort of feedback have you had from the public? It's been great. We get loads and loads of uh, tourist buses that pull up to this location and use the facilities. Lots of beachgoers, surfers come through using the showers. So the I've noticed they all been... like being on display. It's, it's Bondo Beach. <laughs> Everyone likes to be on display. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully you can see why we're featuring a toilet block on this show. It would be very easy to think that a building like this doesn't require investment in design. But the design of this building shows how important it is. It's delightful, it's robust and it's safe. And it is visited by an extraordinary number of people every day. <laughs>